Hello, welcome to the Gas Station Etiquette Training Video. Over the next few minutes, we will be showing you how you can be a better gas station customer, one scenario at a time. So sit back and relax while we take you through this magical journey of people lacking common courtesy. Now, we're going to start with littering. What is littering, you ask? Littering is when waste or discarded materials are disposed of in an improper manner. Just take this guy for instance. Instead of getting out of his vehicle and disposing of his trash in one of the six trash cans within 20 feet of him, he decides to throw his trash out the window. Now I'm sure you're asking yourself, what should I do if I see someone do this? Well, the answer to that question is very easy. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are, are you, you a fucking idiot? You're just gonna throw that on the ground and litter? There's a trash can right there. Are you sure? Are you a dumbass? Yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yourself. Well, throw it in the back. trash. Throw it in the trash. Actually, I got your plate number, so it is littering, so we'll have you charged. Fucking douchebag. That didn't piss you off? Well, maybe this will. As you can see, pump one is 100% clear of litter. But as you'll see here, this young lady decides to throw some trash on the ground. And she's not the only one. Her passenger just opened up the door and he threw some trash on the ground as well. So she's going to give herself the quick interior detail job and dispose of her wipe on the ground. And before she leaves, she's gonna throw one more wipe on the ground for good luck. Look at all that litter. What a dirt ball. Skittles wrapper, a spoon. Uh, I don't even know what these disgusting wipes are, but I'm going to pick them up anyways. Uh, steak and shake cup. Oh, sweet. Nasty. And this little wrapper. And then, of course, she's got to keep her hand clean and leave this on the freaking dispenser. Oh, what do you know? There's a trash can two feet away. Now, let me piss you off a little more. As you can see here, this young fella got a bag of ice to cool down some delicious beverages. So he uses what he needs, and instead of walking to the trash can 20 feet behind him, he throws the bag on the ground. Don't worry though, he's a nice guy. He just let this cute little couple know that their tailgate is wide open. Way to go, little buddy. Thanks for littering. But wait, there's more. This lady decides that the trash can is just too far away to make the walk. So she disposes of her Mountain Dew can on the ground. Don't worry though, she's not done yet. She's got a wrapper to throw away as well. So after she's done littering, she decides to make her way, but she's having second thoughts about littering. So she gets out of her car, walks over to the trash, takes a quick look at it before deciding, nah, I think I'll just leave it there. You'll also notice that that Jaguar is still parked on the side. And that's because he decided to leave it there without asking the business owner. Another no-no when it comes to proper gas station etiquette. Now you would think if you're leaving your car at a random gas station while you're on vacation, you would at least lock it. What? Crazy. Anybody could come in here, take anything they want. But luckily, I'm a good guy. All right, now let's pick up this trash from all those litter bugs, you fucking dirt balls. <sighs> now sometimes when you visit a gas station, you get to drop a big fat deuce. So we kindly request that when using the free toilet paper and paper towels we have to offer, you pick up after yourself, even if the toilet paper follows you all the way out the door. Dang, now that's some strong gas station toilet paper. Huh, looks like she finally figured it out. No worries, ma'am, we'll pick it up for you. At least the other customers got a good kick out of it. <laughs> it's not hard to be a decent human being when you're at a gas station. Here are some other things you shouldn't do. Things like spit on the front door. Blow snot rockets on the beer cave floor and wipe the mucus all over the Corona someone else is going to purchase. And urinating at the pump while a customer with a dash cam pulls in. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, oh, zip it up. Oh, oh, dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm just pumping some gas. Yeah, oh, dang, that's a lot of pee. Oh, it's touching my shoes. All right, I uh, just gotta grab the nozzle, hit the grate, and uh, put her in the tank. Oh man, that's a lot of pee. Oh dang it, I didn't want to step in it. Oh man. We can't forget about those window squeegees. You know, the ones that are meant for cleaning your windows, not your tires, or any other part of your car for that matter. 
and they're definitely not supposed to be used to impress your girlfriend. We also don't appreciate taste testers. Just because you walked in with a half-empty Dunkin' Donuts coffee doesn't mean you get to fill it back up with our Dunkin' Donuts coffee and then throw it in the trash because you don't want to pay for it. Or maybe you buy something you haven't tried before, like some raspberry hostess zingers. If you don't like how they taste, you don't get to demand a refund and freak out on the cashier. Did I forget to mention that you definitely shouldn't lay the smacketh down on some Rudy Poo jabroni in the middle of all the pumps in front of customers? Oh snap, get him, get him, I'm joking. If he deserves it, then by all means, lay the smacketh down. You go, girl. Now, say it with me. Hang up your pump before you leave. Those hoses and nozzles aren't cheap. And she gone! If you know this guy, let him know that he owes us a new nozzle and a new hose. Now, let's talk about proper etiquette when it comes to handling those filthy scammers. You know, the guys that act like they barely speak English and use their children for sympathy while they try telling you that they lost their wallet traveling and they need money for gas to get home, so they need to sell you the expensive gold jewelry right off their own body, but when a nice person offers them $20, they tell you that it's worth at least a couple hundred and that you should go get them more money out of an ATM, but really they got it out of a vending machine at Walmart for 50 cents? Please, don't fall for that garbage. Yeah, that guy, Ray trying to sell him no. something. Buddy, get out of here. You're not asking people for, no, give that back to him. It's fake, go, get out of here. No, don't do that shit here. Fuck out. What is it, okay. Dude, this, I don't know what it is, but this week it's been happening almost every day. And last, but certainly not least, did you think I was gonna leave you guys hanging? Obviously the most important part of gas station etiquette is not being a dirty shoplifter, like this little rascal who just walked in the door. So he's gonna make his way into the middle aisle and the camera's gonna glitch and he's going to make his way towards the coolers because he wants some delicious beverages. So he's gonna make his way towards the beer cave and he's gonna open up that door. He's gonna make his way inside and he knows what he wants. He wants the Bud Light 12 pack can. So he's gonna look for the cameras, doesn't look like he spotted this one. He's going to slip that Bud Light 12 pack can into his jacket. He's going to zip that bad boy up. Yep, can't see that. And he's gonna make his way out of the beer cave. Then he's gonna do the super obvious look up at the counter. Gotta make sure the cashiers didn't see him. He's gonna make his way down the candy aisle and it looks like somebody's ahead of him. So he's gonna have to wait in front of the Fresh Made Daily Quarter Pound of Meat with three slices of cheese sandwiches. Get on the gas. <laughs> 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 that looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let it back there. <laughs> Dang it, just a really good customer yanking our chain. She gone!